many people made this game? Oh my word. How many title cards do you want? There was like five. <laughs> oh dear. Alright then, um, hello and welcome. It's me, Bio. And today, we are looking at another Hello Kitty game. This time, it's Hello Kitty Seasons for the Nintendo Wii. The only Hello Kitty game I know to be released on the Nintendo Wii. It's developed by Sanrio Digital, published by Zoo Games, and released in December 2010. And believe it or not, I think this is a... It's a, it's, yeah, it's a Western exclusive Hello Kitty game. So I guess this game was made to increase the popularity or gain, tr or I guess, market Hello Kitty to the West to some degree. So, oh, let's have a look at this demo, see what it has to offer. Come on. Okay, so mini games, as with usual, as per usual for Hello Kitty games, just full of mini games. Okay, so you create your own character, go around the world of Hello Kitty. And play mini games and do things. So yeah, it's it's the same as uh, previous Hello Kitty games. I always kind of feel like each of these Hello Kitty games I play is like a budgeted Animal Crossing. Like it's trying to copy a little bit of Animal Crossing, but it knows it can't do it to the same level. So it just does a kind of like a, a cheap cheap job of it. All right, I've got my my actual. This is I actually have my Wii set up this time because I'm recording not just one Wii game. I'm recording two. So, uh, not for Hello Kitty, I'm recording a different Wii game. game. I'm not going to say which one it is. Um, so yeah, so Hello Kitty Seasons. So I've got my actual physical Wii Motion Plus Wii Remote hooked up via Bluetooth to my computer with a USB Wii sensor bar, so it's able to track the inputs nicely. Right, I guess we're going to go Adventure. New game. As always, this is just a, like a first impressions. I always, you know, I, I, I think I need to men really mention that every, in every video I make. It's just to basically see what the kind of game's like. So we can pick between a male and female playable character. Okay, I'm gonna go with male. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can have blue hair. Medium dark blue hair. Alright, so there's a few different hair. So you can have like four different hair colors. I'm gonna go with the flashy red hair. Why not? Sure. I'm gonna wear the the pink sweater with the oh gold the oh some sort of gold pants, but no the plaid pants. With um blue sandals with socks and uh, brown shoes. There we go. Beautiful. What's that? Elf shoes. Yeah. Why would he have elf shoes? What's the point of that? I don't know. So here we are, here's our created character. Very limiting um, creator character capabilities, but it's 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 fine. Kind you know, again, you know, you're never gonna have the same level of creativity and customization that something like Animal Crossing is going to have. So please add your character name using the troll panel. Uh, troll panel? Troll pad. Okay, so, so this is what we're doing, okay. My name in here. Bin. I just call myself Bin. <laughs> oh dear. Bio. There we go. Yes. Are you happy with the name? Yes. Cool. So now we have our little profile set up. We can go into the game. So it's kind of interesting. I've already created the uh, the thumbnail pretty much for this game, and. Yeah, it basically. I, I I like how the how Mid Journey's handling the Hello Kitty thumbnails. Quite interesting because it clearly knows what Hello Kitty is. So, right, so we are in little happy Sanrio town. Where all the popular Sanrio characters are playing. I literally only know like two characters. I know Hello Kitty and Bad's Maru. That's all I know. Because I like Bad's Maru. It sounds stupid. I think Bad, yeah, Bad's Maru is his um, English name. I think. So it, it is Maru something in Japanese, but I don't know what it is exactly. All 
Right, so, okay, there's a bus coming in. And we're getting off the bus, are we? Okay. So Hello Kitty's like our friend, and we've... Okay, yeah, I guess so. Hello Kitty is our friend, and we've just come to visit them in Sanrio Town. I literally called it Sanrio Town, and it's called Sanrio Town. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it was called Sanrio Town. All right. So I've got a point. Kitty White. Is that is that Hello Kitty's full name? Kitty White? Okay. Fair enough. My name is Kitty, and very nice to meet you. The mayor told me to meet the new deputy mayor at the bus depot. Is that you? Holy shit, it's fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> it fucking is! It fucking is. Oh my word. Um, my name's Bio. Bio? Then you are the deputy mayor. Great. Well, Bio, since you're new here, let me tell you about the quest system. Of course, the quest system. I should have known. <laughs> When you finish taking a uh, talking to someone with a quest, an arrow will appear. You follow that arrow, it will help you achieve your goal. So yeah, okay, follow the marker. Yeah, yeah. I also help you keep your track of your goals, calling you on the phone. Anytime you get a new task, I'll call to remind you what you need to do. That makes sense. Or would you like to repeat it? Yeah, no, I'll figure it out. Oh, also, if you see someone glowing, then they have something important to say to you. Be sure and talk to Purin at the same. T okay, so yeah, it's uh, follow the arrow to Purin. Right. Okay, so the D-pad kind of comes up with options. Oh. Oh, so you can get accessories, and you can unlock... I'm guessing you can unlock clothes? Yeah. Well, there's not that much unlockable clothes, but there's a few. There's, there's something. And there's like this, like, whatever this is here. I guess you have to collect stuff. No, it's interesting, because it, it, again... Straight from the get-go, the whole entire, like, scenario, you're the deputy mayor coming to town. It's like, that's an Animal Crossing setup, that is. Doing. Alright, so how do I move, then? Okay. So this is a... Okay, so we're now doing point-and-click adventure. Because the D-pad does this. That's what the D-pad does. Brings up menus. Yes, it's that. Oh, okay, so that gives up the tutorial of how to control things. Move, interact. Wow. Of course, it's a Wii game. They have to add, phone in controls like this. What is okay? I'm just going to tell you right now with this control scheme. Right? I know it's a Wii exclusive. This is a Wii exclusive. It wasn't on any other systems. Why didn't they put this on the PC as well? Because literally, you could have easily done it. You could have had it been a point and click adventure. And there isn't really an Animal Crossing game at the time. This is tr Tippy. Okay, so it's telling me who this is. Who this? Fiffy. Okay. So yeah, these are all different Sanrio characters that you can talk to and say, Hi! Yeah. I will admit, the game does look quite nice. But again, this is Vulcan on the, Wii, uh, on the Dolphin emulator, so... But you got to realize you got to. You, you, it's not like it's not like you can uh, run to places. It's literally click. You have to click, then click, then click. It's, it, I can see this getting tedious very, very quickly. Moving around. just when you fuck up the movement in your game, that's not a good sign. Like, why couldn't you just have the control pad, the the, the, the D pad, the control pad, D pad, whatever you want to call it, or have a nunchuck and use the nunchuck for movement. Doesn't support nunchuck this game, by the way. I looked at the back of the box. Doesn't this? No, no, no. Just a Wii remote. All right, so we've got to talk to Purin. Hi there, I'm Purin. I run the best bus depot. Glad you found me. The quest arrow is pretty neat, huh? Do you understand how it works? Or would you like some more help? No, I, I think I understand. The quest arrow is this thing here. You can see my wand screen. So, very small arrow. Why couldn't you just have, like, a little marker around the character with an arrow pointing to where they need to run to walk to? Instead of having this tiny little icon up here. We have this massive mess of fucking icons here. Something that quite easily doesn't have to be here could quite easily be from me doing... Oh, I can zoom out. Oh, thank fuck for that. Well, I can actually zoom out. By much, though. I like... Oh, you... so you can minimize it. 
Why though? Oh, okay. Oh, why even have it on screen? Why not have it? Okay, I'm just saying. Just, just, just hear me out. This here, yeah. This menu. Oh, why is it not? I like how the control pad's just not working now. Nice. I'm saying you could have literally the D-pad. Press an arrow on the D-pad and it'll bring up all this information. Why does it have to be on the screen at all times? Oh my god, are you kidding me? You can zoom out, but you can't move when it's zoomed out. No, 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 no. I thought, oh great, you can control the camera, you can zoom out. No! No, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. No, you can only move. Yeah, you can only move when zoomed. Oh my word! So they give you the option to zoom out to see what's what's around your surroundings, but don't allow you to keep that that perspective, or else it'd be too easy for you to move around. Well, you learn pretty quickly. The man was right choosing you. You get the basics down. Follow the quest arrows. Okay, to the mayor. So yeah. Oh, see, I, 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 I if I had this perspective, I would have known. I would have known. Oh, fan. Oh, my word. The pathfinding is dog shit. Rand. So, he just walk he just runs to the objective as quick as he possibly can. So, there's no pathfinding, Grand. Very good. Duck. Oh, okay. Just the mayor. I am mayor Oya Oya Kata. Sometimes, here in town is a wonderful place to live, work where I can shine. The job is too big for one panda, that's why I hired you. Together we'll be able to make this place a blast. The bla I'll make this place the best city in the world. Now, uh, best city, it's a town, it's called Sanrio Town. What are you talking about? Now then, we should get more familiar with the town. And just speak here again. I swear he said city. Did he not say city? Why do I have to now go back to Hello Kitty again? So already I'm not enjoying this game. Mainly because of the movement. The movement is horrendous. Look, I can't I'm pressing A right now. I can't go anywhere. Why have you made the game like this? Look at this. Look how era when you fail so badly, I'm sorry, it's a major design flaw to make it so that your game requires you to constantly tap A to move forward. It's annoying. Oh Helly Kitty's moved, she's not in the same place as she was before. Fantastic. Oh my god, he can't pathfind. And you can't, and you've just made the game so he, the character can't pathfind. So if I click over, so alright, just to give an example, if I clicked over here, right, instead of the character going do 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 there, the character would go, oh, this bush is in the way. Oh god. Dear Daniel! Who's Dear Daniel? Where is he? I want to speak to him. Hello again, did you meet the mayor? Oh, want to learn about more fun things to do? Yeah, I would like to at least get to a minigame to see how a minigame plays. Before I take this game and throw it into the cosmos. It's just, come on. The game looks nice, graphically speaking. Even on the original hardware, this game would look alright. But you've just designed the game poorly. Horrific movement. You've put horrific movement in your game. Oh, fantastic. I don't know where... Oh, great. Okay, so... Look! I'm trapped. Fantastic. I didn't want to be trapped. Oh, here we go. We can come out this way. You put horrific movement in your game. Like, the game's got a nice little charm about it. I like the graphics. That's the one thing I'll give positive. I like to try and... See, people look at me, and they probably people who watch my videos and probably think I'm incredibly cynical. I am, but at the same time, I always try to look at the positives of certain things. Like here, I would say that personally, the graphics are really, really nice, but they've fucked up the controls immensely by having the movement be basically point and click. You have the ability. Why give the ability to zoom out to get a good idea, look at your surroundings, if it then disables every other input so that you can't do anything? I can't click over here to move over here. This is the this should be the default perspective. I'm sorry, it has should be. 
Or just make it so that, that you can use a nunchuck and move around with a... Or have it so that you can use a controller, like a normal... An actual normal classic controller or GameCube controller, like a fucking normal human being. Well, hello, aren't you the new deputy mayor? Welcome to our town. So happy that I can meet you. I'm Katie's mama. I run a guy knows you right here in San Rio town. And again, the nursery supply system with seeds and grow food and trees. We're give a try. We'll take you two seeds, plant them, and come back for seeds. You got lemon seeds, right? Okay, so why do I have to go this way to plant? Oh, do, planting spot. Do I go here? Oh, yes, I do. Ah, oh, yes. Zoom in even more. That looks exactly what I wanted. Let's zoom in even more. Ah. Ah, mundane tasks. Don't you just love mundane tasks? Video game? I do. Welcome back. Did you plant those seeds? Well done. In time, those trees will grow strong, bear fruit. Cool. Beautiful. Oh, here comes Kitty. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'd like to play a, what, at least one mini game. Can I play at least one mini game before we call this dog shit? Like I said, they've just they they've just destroyed the game by this this movement is a deal breaker. <clears throat> See, I I always whenever I complain about if you may think bloody hell, Bio, you keep moaning and moaning about the movement. It's a deal breaker. This mo this movement is a deal breaker. This would make the game unbearable for me. Like I don't mind playing it for a video for a, for obviously a, a, a funny YouTube video. I don't mind that. I'm going okay. I'm not going to walk in here. Oh no, I do have to walk in here. There's the character I need to speak to. Yeah, I don't mind playing the game for obviously the YouTube video. I'm doing obviously the whole entire Hello Kitty English released games, right? And I, in hindsight, I probably should just pick six games and call it there. The games that interest me the most. But it is what it is. We're going to finish it. We're, we're going to finish the English Hello Kitty games. I'm determined. Just like we did with the game, Garfield. Well, we're almost done with Garfield. Um. So... I, like I said, the only Hello Kitty game I've played thus far that I could honestly say was reasonable was Roller Rescue on the GameCube. Every other Hello Kitty game has been some kind of shovelware budget rubbish. And it's really disappointing. It really is. Like, this game has potential. But they fucked it up with the movement. They fucked up the movement. Right, we've made jam. Oh, look, Kitty's coming back. Hmm, ten, ten, ten. Now we got to go to the cafe. Where's the cafe? Go to the cafe and talk to Cinnamon. Okay. So far, this is just bloody talking simulator. Go talk to talk to this person, then talk to this person. I want to play a mini game. I want to play at least one mini game just to see what the controls are like for the mini games. But I have a feeling. My tolerance for playing this game is going to go before we get to a mini game. What other positives can I actually give about this game? Um, the music is simple, but fine. Exactly the kind of music I'd expect from a Hello Kitty game. I don't know. So I've made jam, and now I'm selling the jam, which I'm guessing I'm going to get money for selling the jam. That gives me three coins. So, go collect apples, make jam. So this is ba it's basically teaching you how to make money in the game. Okay. Alright, now I need to go to the elementary school. Okay. Talk to Kitty's papa. Just make me laugh. Okay, it must be close to the school, I can hear. Sound of playing. You Honestly, I cannot describe how absolutely unbearable the movement in this game is. Just don't get it. Oh, George! Did you just call him George White? Is he George White? Why do you refer to yourself as Kitty's Papa? Hey, I'm, I'm Kitty's dad. My name's George White. No, let's not do that. Toy Toss, are you ready to play this game? Yes! Finally, a minigame! Here we go. Very last thing I'm going to do in this game is play this damn minigame. 
I ain't doing any more of playing. I ain't playing any more of this game after this. It is just it, it, the game very clearly has quality put into it by in terms of graphics. You know, you could see you could see that they tried with this game, but it flopped. It, they they fell on their face because the game somehow still feels like shovelware. <laughs> Uh, right, use the control pad to target which door to toss toys at. Okay. Flick the Wii remote to toss the toys at the helpers. Oh, fantastic. Motion controls. Don't have the time for bonus points. Okay. By the way, I don't know exactly why it's not letting me. Uh, like, how far am I supposed to flick? Oh, I, I used the D-pad. Well, that was a good mini game. I didn't realize I'd used the D-pad to move. So there's that. That's not actual motion controls then, because motion controls would actually you'd be able to flick it to the left and flick it to the right to be able to choose which door you want to throw it at. But no, you actually just have to shake the Wii remote like a spastic, and then you pick the door with the uh, D-pad. So you didn't even implement motion controls very well in this game, straight from the get-go. Why implement them then? I know it's a Wii game. If you're going to have basic Wii, control, Wii remote controls in your Wii game, fine. But add controller as an option. Just I'm just saying, just add it. There's no reason not to. Makes it replayable. There's the pot it adds the potential for your game to maybe get re-released later down the line. I'm just saying. Uh, Alright, so that minigame was... Yeah, exactly what I kind of expected, if I'm honest. And probably the rest of the minigames in the game are probably going to be like it. So I'm not going to play any more of Hello Kitty Seasons, if I'm honest with you. All right, let's, let's give it like an overview. Positive, the posit what's the pros of this game? Nice graphics, nice atmosphere. The music's nice and cheerful and exactly what you would expect for a Hello Kitty game. But the movement control is a deal breaker. It is 100% a deal breaker. And I guarantee you, if you play this game, you would have the same kind of, um, you would feel the, exactly the same. Why do you think, like, it's like, imagine playing Divinity Original Sin 2, and I use that as an example because that's a more modern game, and yeah, I know it's different than this game, but you use the same thing to move. You click where you want to move. But imagine in Divinity Original Sin, you were constantly zoomed in on your character at max, so max, you could zoom out, but you couldn't move anywhere while zoomed out, and you could only move while zoomed in. Imagine how annoying and stupid that would be. You wouldn't be able to see the enemies coming at you. That's what it feels like. It's horrendous. And yeah, the movement is a deal breaker for me. Then you can copper with the fact that realistically they're just trying to copy, in my opinion, they're trying to copy Animal Crossing, in my opinion. Deputy Mayor, anyone? Yeah. Go around and help the citizens, get to know the citizens. It feels like a budget Animal Crossing where they just kind of fell flat a little bit. But yeah, that's just my two cents from what I played going in. But yeah, I'm going to stop here. That was Hello Kitty Seasons. I hope to never play this game ever again. I've been Bio. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.